Hey there, how you doing? How are you? I'm talking to my audience, Jason. <laughs> so you might hear this voice in the background. Who is that? It's not Omnisphere talking to me. It's not Siri. <laughs> Could be. Hey, Jason, where are you at? Hey, John, how you doing? There's Jason. Hello. Jason is the programmer that made these patches. So this is our interview time with Jason. Hey. 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 Jason is a very nice gentleman that I met over Sony picture evaluation. Yeah. I posted yeah. some photos. And we started to talk about resolution and detail. And can you send me full-size versions of those photos? (laughs) And somehow it segued. I I looked at the Facebook chat, and there's like 1,300 conversations at this point now. It's pretty funny that we started with Sony cameras, and here we are now. So, Yeah. Okay, well, I'm popping you into the corner of the display (laughs) so we can look at atmosphere at the same time. You're actually in the background here, too. Um, so where should we start? Long, long time ago. Well, share, share a little background. What's your, what's your, well, my background. So I've been a musician probably since I was in grade seven. Uh, keyboards first. Did you have like piano lessons? No, actually, here's the funny thing. You look at me, you look at this, like, Hey, I'm a big guy. You know, I must've been playing some uh, really manly instrument and actually it started out on flute 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 so my main instrument is the flute to this day yes wow to this day i've been playing flute for oh since grade seven i don't know i haven't even counted now so it's probably 30 some years yeah wow yeah so i started off with flute we never we've never talked about this this is a new enlightenment for me i know everyone thinks and the funny thing is a lot of people don't know this but everyone thinks i'm like hey i'm just keyboards right right and no i've actually started with flute um kind of went through a bunch of instruments i actually played nine instruments in total right um went and got a music degree and of course you had to kind of learn other instruments besides flute so clarinet saxophone bass guitar Right. right bunch of stuff right so Started that, but I've always had a keyboard. It's always been, you know, I started off, my dad bought me a little, one of those little concert mate. Mm. um, I think it was a concert mate 200, which was like, it was this long white keyboard that had a calculator Mm. and speaker from Radio Shack. And that got me onto keyboards. And from there, I've always had a keyboard in my life. So, yeah. But where have you played flute? If, If that's your main instrument, have you played in like orchestras? Uh, just university orchestras, wind orchestras and all that, and, and that church and all that stuff, right? right? So more, a little bit more jazzy stuff, stuff that's kind of right. More contemporary, right? So Right. But yeah, it's, it's it's it will always be an instrument with me, so. Awesome. Yeah. Well, there so, you go. And, and I have plans that I, you might, you just might get some flute samples in a future Omnisphere collection. I've already played with it, and it sounds pretty cool. So. I, I would think so. Yeah, wind yeah. instruments and synthesis and sampling, and uh, it's a good combination with wind instruments for sure. Yeah, so I, I I, I'm looking forward to exploring the different textures and sounds I'll be able to get out of my uh, right, you know, playing. So, so if we look at your history, so you did you did that, and then you um you started uh, the the worship service groups. Was that something that started <sighs> before you started making sounds? <laughs> So even before then, uh, back, I don't, do you remember mp3.com? Remember that Mm -hmm. site? Yeah. So back then I actually started um, Yahoo groups and Mm. I was always kind of into, you know, I I always, I love doing these social groups. Yeah. And to me, it's really big to get people just together. We all have a common focus, a common goal. And uh, I, I opened up some Yahoo groups that focused in on, first it was like discovering local Canadian, uh, musicians, songwriters that wanted help to get their music at, onto mp3.com and that was a big thing right and then i got myself a role in uh sonic what was it called a uh, sonic it was a little black uh multi-timbral synth box sonic cell sonic cell that's what it was called and i wow. put up a yahoo group for that and i started uh exporting you know we you could actually bring in the xp 80 xp 50 80 patches into it so i started bringing them in yeah. sharing the patches so you can see there was the kind of the start of the whole right. focusing on the sounds right right and then uh 
years passed and I decided, uh, you know, I wanted to get serious about my music. So I actually bought Omnisphere, the first Omnisphere one. Ended up getting Omnisphere stylus. I got everything from Spectrasonics and and just loved it. And by the way, great thing is I started watching your videos back then too. Mm. So you were part of my Omnisphere life from day one. Ah. <laughs> right? So just, just, you know, so for all those young ones watching, like, Watch yeah. John's video. <laughs> he will inspire you. Thank and you. Maybe one day this, you know. You, you never know where the path is going to lead, right? Exactly. You might you might be looking for some recommendations on a digital camera, and this is what happens. Right? So, oh, and yeah, so I, um, going back to that, I I started into uh, looking at, well, for I'm a church musician, right? So I wanted to look at, well, Omnisphere, I kept hearing Hillsong, a big church in Australia was using Omnisphere. And, and a keyboard player by the name of Peter James, who I know you know, yes. um, started releasing his Omnisphere patches via main stage on the Hillsong website. Right. So I found this, I discovered this, and there's a whole kind of little comment section of people trying to, hey, can, can you send me this patch? Can you send me this? We're trying to play this song. Right. Um, or the worst thing, because it was on main stage, is, hey, I'm on a PC, right? Yeah. Main stage is a Mac only, right? right. And so. Right. I'm a Mac guy, but I also used to be a PC guy, and I was used to groups. And it's like, oh, that's it. Let's start up a group, and I <laughs> opened up a group called on Facebook called Hillsong Atmosphere Sounds. So the the group social networking thing is a bug that's big in life. It's exactly, big. and that is where this whole journey of uh, patch creation, patch tweaking at first, but then you know, learning from you. Hey, in it, you got to be in it to win it, right? In so it to win it. In it. And go from there and start creating, you know, your own. Well, that's how you get your own DNA in the sound, right? Exactly. Right. right. So that is where it started about, I think Haas was about three and a half years old now. Right. And yeah, what's Haas? Uh, it was Haas. And then I decided we were getting too big. I just wanted to really focus on Omnisphere worship sounds. And that's what I changed the name to and started a new group. And now we're at that size. We're about almost 7,000 members. And, wow. And a lot of top uh worship musicians are on there from like hillsong church right. jesus culture bethel gateway right. right um and even last year probably the biggest thing was that it inspired this uh this uh, conference uh, a segment of a gateway conference for sound design which you were also yeah they invited of, so. i went to that and was able to teach atmosphere to them it was really fun yeah so i, I was I met was peter the, yeah met peter and ian from and ian jesus culture yes. and Will from uh, from multi tracks doing the yes. Ableton side. And, yeah, yeah. And of course, Kevin. Good Kevin people. Melton, yes, right? and, and so, oh, Ke Kevin was the organizer and the mastermind behind getting the whole thing to happen. So yeah. So that that to me was kind of something in my my head and my heart where I, I, you know, for the worship musicians, we always are trying to emulate what the other, you know, what the outside world is doing sound wise and all that. And I thought, why can't we start creating our own sounds too? Yeah, you know, and I just love that idea. So that's been kind of my heart is to inspire people to hey, why don't you try creating your own sound? See how this goes. Yeah, and then providing you know resources like, you know, we have you on there. We have um, Luca from Audiority. We have a lot of these Omnisphere cre content creators that are kind of come up with us. Right, and including the team at Spectrasonic. So yes, it's, uh, yeah, it's great to it's have been, him involved. It's been a great ride. Like it's just amazing there. So. Yeah, and and we just begun, so this is kind of cool. Now, so that so is where we are now. In in that history point, when did you start making libraries? Because um, this library we released, uh, Northern Lights, was actually the first library for Atmosphere you made. Yes, back in the day, back and it, in the day. just so you guys know, it originally was weighing in at five hundred patches. <laughs> the happy gift giving yeah. Canadian type of spirit, right? Well, yeah, you know, it's the Canadian. We, we, I'm Canadian. I can't help it. <laughs> Everybody bugs me about that. I say, why did you not stop at like 125 or 150? Yeah. And I just kept going and going. And, and yeah. yeah, so it was kind of cool to do that. And uh, yeah, so that started about, I think, 2014 is when I released that okay. first one. And my whole goal was that, you know, I always tell the, uh, the people in my group, um, if you're going to do this sound design, like pick a niche, like you're plug and groove, you're skippy, you, everyone knows you, right. right? You know, you know, find something and hold on to that. Right. And to me, it's like, well, I'm Canadian. I got this, you know, my, my label is Rocky mountain sound design and everything about me is like, you know, the Rockies, right. Canada, the North. Right. And so right. when it came up with me making these patches, my biggest thing was, what is this? What, what's that? Um, 
what am I going to hold on to? And that was like, everyone knows Canada, Northern Lights, right? And that started it off, right? right? And right. Uh, right. And so that's how it all began. Wow. And I know you're going to probably ask me some of these funny patch names. Yes, right? there's some interesting ones in there that um, we, we've discussed a couple that we have to touch on for sure. But there's a couple others I just don't even know how to pronounce. Contoido. 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 You saw like, the video already, right? Yes. It was, it's like a, it's a lake, I believe, in, in northern, north, 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 like Yukon or something like that. So you know, when you make an Apache, I always have a hard time making a name for it. Yeah. Right. And you don't want to have pad one, pad two, soft pad three. Right. Happy soft pads. Is you know, and it's like, well, what can I call these things? And and I opened up Google Maps and I'm looking at a map of Canada and I started seeing all these great kind of cool names. I, I'm Canadian. I, you know, I understand where some of these names come from, but to the rest of the world, it's going to be so bizarre. Contoido yeah. Contoido and Contoido. Let me. Here, I'm going to play Contoido for a second. So here's Con. Beautiful, haunting. Now I noticed even with the textures, these are all, they're like really geared up to be layered with really like pianos, electric pianos. It seems yes. like the, everything in this library is because of your, you're dealing in a, in a worship service church yeah. environment. These are great compliments to acoustic instruments, right? Yeah. So if anybody is from the Atmosphere One world, they, one of my favorite all time patches was called Afterglow. Mm-hmm. And I use that in church all the time yeah. because it's just something about it. When you, it was this, that, that vocal choir box sound, um, very mellow, very dark, you hold it. And then these overtones start coming out and you push the mod wheel up and just, and I love that texture. And I think that is the sound that inspired me to do Northern lights ah. to, to really get these over, you know, these evolving overtones and it just worked in a church setting when you have a typical drum bass, uh, piano centric yeah. group, right? And you just, how do you fill the space, make it organic, right. make it life and not synthetic, right? And so, right. Yeah. All, all the sounds, I mean, it's, there's this life that I, ca I call it magical, I think, in some of the promotion yeah. stuff, because it, any of these that you come on to and play, it's just immediately, it's like, I'm playing Valley of the New Light. Yes. And it's got portamento, which is cool when you change chords. So you get some bleep, bleep that hits the delays, but it's just always evolving too. Yeah. I love, I'm a sucker for that stuff. I just love those kind of sounds. Damn. And that is why I just kept doing more and more because it's just like, how far <laughs> can I go down this rabbit hole? I know. Right? What's the patch? Afterglow? No, Wedge. Oh, you want to talk about Wedge Pond? Wedge okay. Pond, because this has here, let me play it. There's a story. There's a story about this, right? Let me play for a second, so. You just hold it down and listen to all the stuff happening. It almost sounds sad and scary. So. Hold on a second. I haven't changed chords yet. I'm just playing the same three <laughs> notes. <laughs> we're playing D flats instead of Gs. It's still scary. Okay, so what is our story about this interesting? So, because there's a belt, there's, there's almost like a, it's almost like Mr. Rogers if you play it short. Yeah. Depending on how you play it, it changes. If you play it light and just kind of go and just, it, it changes. And so the story is the Wedge Pond is a real place just as close to my house, it's about 45 minutes away. Um, I, I just so for everyone knows, I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So right at the edge of the Rockies. Right. Um, as you drive out toward the Rockies, there's a an area called Kananaskis, and that's kind of where the mountains start. Some ski hills, very beautiful place. Right. And I took my family one day, and we're driving. We just kept driving down this road, driving down this road, and there was this, this pond on the to the side of the road that was kind of hidden in the forest, and it was called Wedge Pond. Ah. Uh. So you get there, and it's like a day. Should I back you up with, like, scary sound music? Sure. Soft, gentle, happy stuff right now. Oh, it's happy stuff. Okay. Happy so, stuff right sure. now. Sure. Yeah, happy stuff right now. So, you know, it's one of these cool little ponds that you can see right across. 
you can see all around. On uh, up, you can see the mountains all around and the tall trees. So it's very beautiful. The problem with this pond is that so it's this dirt path that goes around this pond that you're always walking kind of up and over fallen trees. There's beautiful flowers, wild flowers on the side. And you kind of come close to the water, but you don't want to fall in. And this water, it's kind of calm. It's kind of too calm, right? And the trees, as my kids were kind of walking ahead, I couldn't hear them anymore. It's like the trees were sucking the sound away. Uh-oh. And it was just this, this polar... Opposite. I'm holding some notes now. Right? It's like, what's going on here? I thought this was a pretty nice, tranquil place. And then you start thinking, what is in that pond? Why is it so calm? Why can't you hear around you? Why are those trees stopping any sound from coming oh, and coming? Yeah. Right? So how do I express what this looked like? How this kind of felt and where my mind was going? That is Wedge Pond. I don't know what's at the bottom of that pond, but that sound just gets me. It's just like, that was Wedge Pond. So when I, when I made that, I'm like, that is so that place. And I had to I had to call it that. So A minor oh. to F minor works really good. Yeah. For that film theme right there. You'll be happy with what I was playing for your underscore. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Uh, okay. Well, there's so many sounds. We could spend forever. No, tell me about your room, because I've got you on full screen right now. And uh is oh. your room normally this glittery, glowy? Uh yes. It, <laughs> when you program sounds, is this the environment that you made yourself? <laughs> I'm going to next time. <laughs> I, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're celebrating Northern Lights. I've got my own. Oh, I got my own Northern Lights here. So. Yeah, like your lights are way, way cooler. Well, we're going to talk about these in a, in a, in a. <laughs> I need those lights over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the new lava lamp of 2016 right That's here. That's so cool. Look at and, those things. It's like you're holding. I know. It's like, like you're holding the northern lights in your in this can that just wants to come out. I know. And what's <laughs> awesome with these, because normally when you're playing with Bluetooth audio, you just have one speaker. And it's just mono. Yeah. And I'm gonna do a video showing these and how they work and stuff, but these can work in stereo. So That's they pair awesome. up and they give you stereo audio, which is awesome. So but I don't want to talk. So, they look so good. Yes, yes, yes. Right? So, so here's my more. Yeah, well, my we won't talk anymore about those. Yes, otherwise I'll have no video to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go, we'll stack so, them so. Yeah, so we're in my, my home studio, which yes. is kind of on the main floor of my house. And yep. Normally, normally the kids would be awake and coming in and out. And <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's not that tranquil place where you go and, and, and work on your sounds. Right? I know, right? Right, yeah. It's, it's, Until it's, they go to bed and then you have time to... Yes, lately, and especially lately. It's been yes. long nights in this room, <laughs> and you know that. <laughs> I do. We've talked during those nights. Oh, yeah. So behind me, I have my, my, my two favorite keyboards on the top there. You'll see kind of glowing there. Yep. Uh, I'm sure you know what that keyboard is. I've spent many hours working on that keyboard. Yes, that's the Korg Radius. Yep. I got a Libid Base 2 controller up there. I just added that for the lights because it yes. just kind of looks it's, cool. It's more Northern Lo Lights thing, yeah. Right, and below that I have the Dave Smith, which you know, Prophet 12. Yes, I do. That's the Prophet 12, right? That is a Prophet 12, yes. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm planning the Bank of Sounds other... actually at the Dave Smith Instruments that I worked on for that, that I think you can get for it. I want to check those out. Yeah. I love the Prophet 12. It's, 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 it, to me, it was one of these kind of bucket list synths. It's, it, it's, it's a handmade synth from the maker of MIDI. It's, it just yeah. means a lot kind of more emotionally to me than... Yeah than anything else yeah right and especially the story about how i got it too it is a whole cool story with my groups and all that too so it's uh it's a real it's a real uh heart of my uh, studio and i've actually side note it's, it's not atmosphere related but uh, i got approval from dave smith to sample this keyboard right and i actually came out kind of as a gift to the people that helped get this for me i came out with some free main stage um patches based totally on the profit 12. Wow. And so, um, I might put those out there so, you know, yeah. the viewers can check them out and they're free. And, uh, they were called red mod P 12 kind of a weird red name, but that's my nickname on the group says red mod. Cause I have a, a, a love affair with red instruments. Mm. 
Yeah, one of the keywords you don't see is is kind of put away because I don't have much room in something. I have a Korg SV1 uh, oh, the stage keyboard. piano. Yeah. yeah, but the original with the with the red. Racing red. Yeah. The Corvette red. red. I love that keyboard. It's, yeah. It's a cool one. It's just, it's, it's great action, it's, great it's sounds. Great, great yeah. sound. It just has a vibe. And, yeah. And there's been hours I just sat, I used to be on the lower level there, and I just, I'd be on the roads and just for hours just play and just play. Yeah. And just tweak, play the, play with that valve and just go for it. So it was just a beautiful instrument. Nice, nice. Yeah. Red is a good color to have. And, yes. And you've got it over there on the other side behind you with, uh, over there, I got a, uh, a red toy piano. I know. Ah. Yeah, I'm going to sample that. I actually tried sampling that. Interesting. It's an interesting thing to play yes. with. Yes, yes. Uh, and that's oh a is that record player? Yeah, that's a record player. I, I, uh, I, my dad is a big audiophile, and, and he gave me, in my garage, I have five boxes of about 100. I have about 600 LPs he gave me. Mm. And I never had a record player, right? And so got a record player, and now I'm going through these, trying to find some cool stuff. What you don't see, and I can't reach it because my, my monitor... I have this album that's the 1812 Overture done on Moog and Oberheim Sense. By who? I, here, let me go grab it here. <laughs> there we go. Get these put back in there. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, center it so I can see the corner with so the text. this is about, here we go. By Kraft okay. and Alexander, sure. Yeah, so this was, I couldn't believe I had this. And so now this is my favorite album to play. I it's an amazing, amazing. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, what else can you say? It was, um, yeah. It's it's all analog synths. Yep. On vinyl, like, yep. <laughs> hello. <laughs> it's yeah, classical it's music, 1812 overture, especially when they go to the canon parts and all that kind of stuff. It's amazing, right? Right. And then you got these analog synths, and then you got the vinyl. It's like. Bam, bam, and pow all at once. Right? So, <laughs> it's a good combination. So I'm hoping to find some more in that box. So I have this mystery box, yeah. five boxes of albums. I just when you have time, like go that. back and dive through it and find. Yeah, some. right. And so. there's all sorts of hits and all sorts of great things you can sample from those older albums as well. Sometimes. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's kind of a little cornucopia. I have drums, different shakers. Yeah. Just stuff to get my mind going, creative ideas. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah, so it's always fun in this room, and sometimes I'm on Google Hangouts with some people in my group, and we'll we'll just have, hey, pull out an instrument, and randomly we'll pull out something, right? I have this strumstick guitar that has a, a lizard painted on the back of it. I'll pull out or something like that, right? So, and then start uh, jamming with other people. Everybody gets yeah, the difference. Yeah, we've done a jam, <laughs> kind of hard. Latency Very is hard. a little tricky sometimes. Yeah. If you just can do like what like one in five chords, you're, you're good. Hey, right? it's free so, form, man. Free form. Exactly. <laughs> So, yeah, so it's awesome. Uh, it's a fun little studio. Um, my future goal is to go outside and, and get some more nat nature sounds and yeah, uh, and really explore what can I do with that stuff. One one cool recording that's in this collection is um, is uh, one rainy day in the summer. I, I just noticed cars are just kept driving by, right? And you just hear this sound. I'm like, hey, that sounds like kind of like a cool dance riser and fall and right. And so I got my recorder and I just stood out there and I have like a whole series of recordings of cars going by on the right. road. Right. I'm like, There's, it just sounds so organic. And it is, right? And yeah. You can't, well, we turn, a, you turn those into all the different, um, let me call them up. Uh, gotta go those to, are going to be under the SFX. Yeah. Yeah. Get past all the textures. There was uh, Angels Passing. No. Are these different cars to make the different ones? Like if you go to magnetic storm passing. I did some I did some pre-processing. I don't just go with the street. Oh yeah, you can hear the car kind of element to it, but Yeah. So I like exploring what can I do? What can I twist? Right? right. You know, and so I like doing that. Just to, you know, and it, it helps me get my mind out of, out of, out of my way of doing something, right? And, Storm drone or shadow drones cool too. Yeah, you get that drone happening. It's just it's a nice texture. But one thing that's cool with angels, just so you know, the mod wheel does a really cool filter sweep and adds to like the effects. So. And we showed that in the earlier video as yeah. well. So awesome, 
Awesome stuff. Well, what's your favorite stuff in the library? Favorite stuff in the library? I'm a bell pad guy. Yeah. I really love bell pads. And the reason is, again, going back to church, you know, a lot of us, the big running joke about synth players is, hey, play a pad, right? And so you, when you play a pad, you sit in there, make one, five, one, and you can do that for the whole entire song, which is why I made my kind of my backing ambience pads that you, you mentioned. Right. And that's just to help so synth players don't have to play that anymore. They can go and actually play something else. And it's like, well, what else are you going to play? You still like pads. You still like filling it in. A lot of songs don't need synth. Like it's not that EDM synth leads. Right. Some young and free, you do that. Yeah. And I just like the the percussive bell pads seem to work. You can right. play it for quiet moments. Um, yeah, these are very expressive. So you've got a lot of yeah. expressivity. And it, it just, I'm, I'm a big sucker for bell pads. That is that is my favorite type of, uh, you know. And there's so many options I can make, which is why there's so many options in right. the Maltese. <laughs> right. <laughs> But that's why you, it's, it's, you shouldn't, it, with my, with my collection, you never have to play the same sound twice. Right. Right. Exactly. Well, awesome. It's great stuff. It's nice to talk to you with all this. Um, I know a lot more about you than I did even before yeah. we started this conversation. I still haven't got a camera. So that's still the, uh, yeah. Waiting, still waiting on the new camera and that's, that's exciting. So. Yeah, exactly. Me yeah. too. I'm, I'm curious. I, I think I put one on order for the Sony, the 6300. So I'll that, be asking you about samples. Yes. I'll be sending you samples, yeah. of course. <laughs> and this is just the beginning of this uh, adventure, isn't it? It, it, I, it is. Let's talk about that for a minute. So um, now you had these available at one point on your site, and then we decided to work together Yep. and you took them off your site. Yep. So we're going to re redo how many were there? Well, if you put all of them together, I had over a thousand patches, right? So, right, and and that was a lot of patches. Yes, <laughs> it's a lot of patches. It's a lot right. of patches. Right, and we're going through, and you know, we're weeding out yeah. and organizing and selecting yes. and doing some good Refining, things. Refining, reinventing. Yes, you know, and and just re reevaluating. Say, hey, you know what? Great concept, but that mod wheel is just not doing enough let's what right. else can we do with these sounds right so it's right re-exploring the, the the sonic textures i can come up you know right and with, in fact we with, should talk about that for a quick second um yeah to the people that say i have say northern lights one your first library what what makes this different in this case and what will be what's you know i'd like to say we've we've fixed a lot of issues that i think now that because it's been out for a couple of years you know, after you come back to it, you're like, why? No, this this doesn't work. You know, I know more. I've played more. I've 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 developed my skills more in sound design that I want to take this elsewhere. I'm hearing stuff that, you know, I want to change this. I want to make this right. better. Right. Right. So a lot of times we went and changed it. A lot of times it, it didn't do enough. And, or what else could I do with this sound that I couldn't do in Atmosphere 1? Right. There's new, there's new effects. There's new... You know, add on. So these have been revamped for Atmosphere 2. Yeah. We um, also just collaborated together and shared knowledge and ideas and yeah. things to get the sounds to be a little bit more updated and modified from what they originally were. And, and like one of those one of those new things is the aux send, right, on the FX right. bus. Yeah. We didn't have that before. And, no. and that, that changes a lot of what you can do. Yeah. With yeah. that mod. There's a lot more mysticism and magic added to the sounds with the mod well, wheel now in some cases. And it's so much, yeah, it's so nice to be able to have this this extra FX bank that I can bring in and out that doesn't just stop either. Yeah. Right? When you when you change a controller, it just it just naturally, if it has natural reverb, it'll just finish off with that. And I just yeah. a lot more creative freedom, I think I think in Atmosphere 2, a lot more um take maybe taking some of those same sounds saying, hey, I got some more custom sound samples. Oh, let's try putting these in now because right. I can do that now and make right. it my own. Right. And right. we also so. took things out and simplified it. And yeah. we looked at the three different libraries and kind of categorized, but each one of them are going to actually four libraries, right? It's three libraries, but there's enough for four right. in them. Well, and the fourth one might be an, an add on to do some other stuff for maybe yeah. some of the sampling things we're talking about that you've talked about. Yeah. Great. Well, it's, it's exciting. It was really fun to be a part of this and to kind of 
reimagine and help bring it out and get it to more people that might not have seen it the first go around? Yes. And I'm truly thankful. Honestly, this has been, it's been a wild ride and a, and a great blessing and just, wow. I never, you know, I never expected 2016 to start this way. Yeah. Right. So it's, it's going to be a good year. Great year. Yes. Yes. Right. Well, it's so, an adventure and don't say no when an adventure offers itself a chance, right? Yeah. And, and never say why not. Why not? Why not try? Why not go for it? Right. Exactly. Right. So cool. Will happen. Yeah, well, so. we will, we will be in touch as we progress. Yes. And it's been fun to interview and talk to you a little bit and share some knowledge. And well, thanks um, for coming. To, thanks for coming to Canada. Hey, thank you. Hey, you know, hey, you got things hey, good up there. Hey, eh? I, I, I miss getting to my bacon. I got some, <laughs> bacon and some poutine. I could have put my toque on and, you know, we you know, <laughs> It's just, it's what we do up here. Hey, hey, you got a, a, a horse in the back for when you're on Mountie duty, right? Horse? I live in an igloo. This is, this is a big igloo. <laughs> <laughs> Where, why do you think I get all these cold ideas? It's cold up here, man. Yeah, yeah. A lot of this stuff makes me very, very chilly and like looking for a parka really quick, right? Yeah, if you're looking for warm stuff, it's not going to come from yeah. Uh, no, that's that's not true. That's not true. Some of, a lot of the motion stuff has got a warmth and a thing to it. Still some ice. Don't scare don't scare people away from the warm now. You no, know. no, there's 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 there's, there's warm balance. in this. There's, it's it's everything. It's Canada. It's, it's Canada. Yes. Yeah. As volatile as Mother Nature's <laughs> weather systems. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, thank you awesome. again. Nice well, to talk you. to you. You too. And. Um, Viva la Canada. Awesome. Okay. Bye. Bye. And we're out. Yes, we did it. Yeah. <laughs>